we're basically have just recaught um, the mighty can, who's um, about 1.7 meters and is a large eastern brown snake that has been, you know, just um, in this habitat since we released it, since you saw the, the video, and he's just been moving around this creek area, both sides. He has so much food out here. And in fact, I'm going to tell you something really interesting that is an, an amazing observation. I put a camera last night on this burrow because I knew Can had gone into this burrow and you'd be able to see it a bit later on, maybe where my finger's pointing there is yeah, Can's burrow yeah. that he was using last night. And what I saw last night, because this is the beautiful thing about technology, is I actually saw um, a mouse going in and out of that hole too. <laughs> so last night, um, Can was cohabiting with a field mouse, oh, a wow. European mouse. Um, I, I think it's European mouse. I'm not an expert in mice, but that's my uh, lay verdict of what it was. But the, the, the interesting thing, I guess, is we, you know, these snakes eat rodents. That's one of their key, um, you know, um, dietary items. And it's just fascinating to think that, you know, that mouse was actually sharing sharing a burrow site with Khan last night. And he wasn't obviously interested in the mouse last night. Um, the reason we've caught Khan today is we're going to do a couple of things. Um, there's going to be a controlled burn happening, um, I believe, tomorrow in um, uh, Guruyuru um, Nature Reserve. And we were just concerned, all of the team, the Mulligan's Flat team, the Woodlands Wetlands Trust, Trust team, that, you know, it was going to be potentially quite close to Can, And, you know, probably he would be fine. He would find his burrow. He would disappear. But we just didn't want to take any risks. And the other reason is, um, you know, he's been out now for several months or whatever. Um, and I think it's good to give him a health check. So we'll reweigh him, uh, we'll measure him, we'll do all those kinds of basic data analysis things. The, the wildlife vet and part of the project, Dr. Ariane Lowe, she'll have a look at him as well, make sure she's happy with how he's going, because um, obviously our, the welfare of the snakes comes first. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and, and if he's okay, he'll be he'll be released when it's the appropriate time to release him back into this field site. And uh, if if um, you know for any reason he's uh, Ariane decides it's not good to release him again here or release him at all. Um, the implantation will be taken out of him and uh, he'll be released. 